So if you haven't heard, Wyoming's on fire. And what's interesting is the majority of it is on the eastern side of Wyoming. Now, just for reference, the yellow part of this map is federally owned land and the white part is privately owned. These major fires are all in the privately owned sectors. Now, what does this mean? So a recent discovery claims that there is approximately 2.34 billion metric tons of rare earth minerals near Wheatland, Wyoming, which is on fire. Now with this supply of rare earth minerals, we would be the leading holder in the entire world. Now where is Wheatland? Right there in the southeast corner of Wyoming, where the worst of the fires are. Now this won't be an overnight transition. Many proposals still face months, if not years, before work is final. But the citizens of Wyoming are poised to fight long and hard against these mines. Now what started these wildfires? So a wet, or an area with an abundance of fuels, just so happened to get hit by lightning and ignited the fuel. And the state's notoriously strong winds are driving the flames, making it even worse. Sounds kind of like the perfect storm. So I don't know people, you can put two and two together here. We have a location that could be the leading source of rare earth minerals in a certain part of Wyoming that a lot of people are against mining and now they're being told to evacuate. I can't say much more, but look into this. I think it will shock you.